My role in the DNR is very diverse. Um, I am a forest ranger, as you can see by my uniform today. Um, so in that capacity, I inform people about burning rules and regulations. I help people prevent wildfires, and then if we do have wildfires break out, then I help extinguish them. Uh, another part of my job is working with private landowners. I do property walkthroughs with them to try to help them meet goals or objectives that they have on their property. A lot of people, you know, they might not want forestry as their primary goal, but they might want something like wildlife or recreation or aesthetics that forestry really can help them kind of tweak things on their property that to help them meet that objective. So another big part of what I do is the county forest liaison for Vilas County. And throughout the state, the DNR has partnerships with county forests throughout the state. There's 30 county forests, so 30 county forest liaisons. So it's a pretty unique position within the DNR. And what we do is we help each county forest manage their lands. So the DNR with that partnership provides both time assistance and financial assistance. So the time assistance comes from people like me doing things like timber sales, tree planting, forest inventory, um, a wide variety of different projects, whatever the county really is looking for. And if it's not something that I can directly help them with, like they have a wildlife issue, they have a fisheries issue, then I can help connect them with people within the DNR that can help them out better than I could. And then another really cool thing that isn't really part of my job title, but I still am pretty active in it, is helping the local school forest with their school forest property. So, I mean, a lot of that is just educational events and being present when they're doing things like planting trees. Um, but they, I did develop a stewardship plan for them and they used that stewardship plan and implemented a harvest and had a big educational program and a log a load for kids charity, har charity harvest as a part of that, which was really, really cool to see. I really liked to hike around, especially when I was younger and I lived in Montana. I'd hike everywhere just to hike, just to get somewhere. And I still love to do that, which is part of a good part of my job, right? I get to hike around in the woods all day. But the older I've gotten, the more interested I am in other things just besides trees or besides putting miles behind me in the woods. So I've learned over time to just kind of slow down, look at things a little bit more, and just be really, really curious about the woods and what's in it. And I have found that that has really led me to understand and appreciate how all these plants and animals and fungi and all that good stuff interact with each other. And I feel forestry is more than just trees. It's a whole ecosystem management. And I think it's a really cool relationship to work with different biologists, ecologists, foresters. It's a broad natural resources field. And I think it's really cool that we all collaborate together to try to get basically a better forest. Natural resources is a very, very broad field and forestry, even you think forestry is trees, right? It's not, it's a super broad field. So I think there's a lot of room for people that have very diverse interests. You don't have to want to be outside and hike around like me. You could sit in an office and digitize stuff on an aerial photo to help a forester on the ground set up a timber sale. My advice would be, just be curious about whatever it is you're interested in. I mean, there's probably a way that you can tie it into the field of forestry or even natural resources. 